Hi, this is Tommy's Piano Corner and I'm Tommy. This is a place for returning pianists, or indeed anybody who loves the piano, to share some tips and ideas of how to get the most from this great hobby. Are you the type of person that has a practice plan, or do you more just go with the flow? One thing I've learned, I think, with age, is that the better you plan something at the beginning, generally speaking, the more time and effort you'll save yourself at the end. So today I'd like to share how I actually go about planning my own practice sessions, and I hope that this will give you some great ideas of things you can try out for yourself. Are you sitting comfortably? Then let's begin. When I was young, any plan in terms of practice would be vague to say the least. I split my practice time down basically into a few blocks, scales, arpeggios, study, pieces. I think I very rarely had actual goals in mind when I practiced. I was just going to practice. More often than not, I wouldn't really even have any set time limit in mind. I just intend to do, I don't know, 30 minutes or an hour or so each day, depending on the day. I certainly didn't put very much structure into it and probably kept watching the clock to make sure that I'd done my duty for the day and I could go and do something else. For scales, I just sort of absent-mindedly played through a few random scales each day working on the principle that eventually they'd improve themselves enough and that'd be fine. And it sort of worked well enough to get through my grades, I guess. For arpeggios, I did exactly the same. My first piano teacher, every week she'd give me a piece to learn, but she'd also give me a study. Of course, these weren't the Chopin etude studies that we all love, but just nondescript technical pieces that were focused on one small element of using your fingers. As for then learning my pieces, to be honest, I was also fairly random at doing this. I'd sort of sit down, play through them. Whenever I made a mistake that was just too bad to ignore, I'd maybe work on that little area for a little while to see if I could get it right. And then I'd just carry on playing through. In my defence, I guess the, that sort of unplanned way of practising was largely a consequence of the fact that the earlier grades aren't that that complex and don't present that that many technical challenges. But certainly when you get into more advanced music, I don't think you can be unplanned anymore. These days, I take a much more scientific approach to my practising. One of my major inspirations for this is somebody called Graham Fitch. If you read Pianist magazine, I personally am subscribed to their digital edition, which I've linked below for you, then you'll be very familiar with Graham. He equally created a whole ebook series on how to practice, which I bought and I've also linked for you here. I think the key thing is that previously I'd focused predominantly on how to play without thinking about the skill in itself of how to actually practice. Of course, I'm not saying I necessarily follow Graham's advice word for word, but what I do now is that rather than just sitting down and randomly practicing through the things that I'm working on, I actually have a predefined plan that I use. The planning process for me really starts with the pieces that I'm intending to learn. What I'll do in advance is I'll go through each of these pieces and I'll identify the parts that I expect to have trouble with. And then I'll create myself goals around these difficult areas. A goal really can be something as simple as simply learning the notes. It might be to get a given bar or a given section up to a given tempo. It can be anything really that you need it to be. Then in addition to the goal, I'll then have the strategy that I'm going to use to try and achieve that goal. The strategy again can really be anything. It can be something as simple as very, very slow hand separate practice. 
It could be around using different rhythms in a given section. If you practice scales and arpeggios, for example, you can give yourself specific goals here. Maybe different scales that you want to learn, maybe different speeds that you want to attain with these scales or different touches you want to practice. I then simply keep a note of how much time I've spent working on each individual goal each day when I practice. I've also found that it's useful to change strategies when you're working on individual goals so that A, it varies your practice and keeps you more interested, but B, it actually helps you achieve the goal that little bit faster. Another thing that I do very frequently these days, and that's also based on Graham's advice, is to convert difficult sections into a set of exercises that I can do that help me to focus on difficult parts. I've done a couple of videos on this that you can watch in this playlist and they give you different ideas of ways of creating exercises for some of the pieces that you're learning. In short though, my aim as always is to try and reduce the amount of time I spend practicing wrong notes. To help me do all of this, I actually created an app for myself that runs on my iPad. Within this app, I have the ability to create my repertoire list. I can also create a practice plan, including creating goals. I have my practice area from where I choose the goal I want to use and then practice it. I have a play area. I use this when I'm just playing for pleasure as opposed to actually practicing. I also use the app to time how long I've been practicing any individual goal so that I know where my practice time has been spent. Finally, I have a review area where I can look at what I've been doing over the past days or months. I find this is actually really motivating, especially when I've had a good week and done some work each day. I have it set up so I can either look at the minutes per day that I've practiced, but also split down piece by piece for any given time period. You could very easily do something similar yourself using a spreadsheet or even a notebook. If you'd be interested in having a copy of my app, then let me know in the comments below and we'll see what we can do. As a bit of fun, I've linked a little poll just here about how you practice. Are you a planned practicer or do you just go with the flow? Let me know. I find in fact that this planned approach seems to work better for me. And maybe you can try and implement some of these ideas yourself in your own practice sessions. If you're not already, then do remember to subscribe to Tommy's Piano Corner. Click on the little bell icon so that you're notified of the new videos as they're released. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next week.